everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've heard me talk about my NES RGB modded front-loading NES, you've heard me talk about these weird horizontal picture issues I've been having with the video. I did some Googling and I found this old Schmups forum post about another user who had the similar problem. In that forum thread, Tim Worthington, the creator of the NES RGB mod, mentioned that kits sold during 2017 were actually sold with fake voltage regulators in a certain spot. He added a link to his website that actually talked about the issue and linked to a replacement genuine voltage regulator. I figured I would go ahead and buy one of those voltage regulators and swap it out in my kit and see if it got rid of my horizontal line issue. If my NES RGB kit actually has a fake voltage regulator, all I have to do is unsolder the fake one and add the real one. Let's just jump over to the bench and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I went through the liberty of taking the NES apart. This console is kind of annoying to take apart so I just took it apart off camera and I read through Tim's post on his website. This is the regulator here. He mentions that the fake one has really difficult to read and like faint text on top of it. It's supposed to have a, a circular mold marking for when they when they made the chip. And I don't see any of that and the text is really hard to uh, read. Compared to the real one, you can see that there's obvious text and there's the circular mold marking in there. So I'm pretty sure that this NES RGB kit has one of those fake voltage regulators. I've got my knife edge soldering iron tip. We should be able to add some fresh solder to the three legs of this fake voltage regulator, heat up all three legs at the same time, and that thing should come off, and then I'll be able to replace it with the new one. I'm gonna try to add some fresh solder. Too much. Okay, I'm gonna try to use the tweezers and grab it. This is kind of hard to do. I'm gonna use the tweezers and grab it and uh, heat up the three legs at the same time. Hey, that was easy. I'm gonna to try to get away with just leaving the solder that's on here, adding flux, and trying to solder the new piece on there. Maybe I'll pre-tin the legs of the new one. Okay, I think that's good enough. That's really hard to do because that piece is small. Gonna use my tweezers, put that new chip on here, hold it in place with my tweezers very carefully. So when I get it in a good spot. This knife edge tip really doesn't help me here. Got a bridge on these legs, add a little more flux. All right, I think that's it. I'm just gonna check with my multimeter, make sure I didn't bridge those. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna put this console back together and I'm gonna test it. So the good news is I think I did have a fake voltage regulator. The bad news is it doesn't 100% completely remove that horizontal line issue, but 
When I was recording some video, I noticed that it was only showing up in actually just one game, Super Mario Brothers. I looked in at least six or seven different games, and none of them had that horizontal line issue, so that's really weird to me. It seems like maybe it's just a specific sequence of colors next to each other or something that causes this horizontal line issue. Maybe it wasn't as big of an issue as I thought it was, but in the end, it's nice that I was able to fix that voltage regulator problem. If you'd like to see me install an NES RGB kit and a top loading NES, click the video here. Otherwise, give me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Click the video here. Get like. Get like. Nailed it.